All right, so basically this is all you're going to need for the Go V Lira lamp. This is probably one of the more involved unboxings I think I've ever done in my life. There's so many individual parts. And I mean like a lot of little parts. So you are definitely going to have to do some mild assembly, I would say. There is definitely going to be assembly. As you guys see, we've got our rods that we all got coming out here at the same time. Go on Govi's website, or not their website, but their YouTube channel, and literally watch their videos. So if you are having trouble putting this together, just watch the how-to video. They'll show you how to do it. But one thing you do have to be very, very careful with that I almost missed is this little piece. A lot of the pieces will come already pre-slid into place for you, but the bottom piece was not pre-slid into place for me. I had to take it out and turn it around and put it back into place like this, okay? And then, of course, line up the two screw holes. The The bottom piece, you have to have the, the part with the, the nuts facing like down. It, it, it's not the one that you screw in essentially. That's what's going to screw into the lamp itself at the base. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're gonna put this piece inside of here. So it's pretty tall right now and slide it in like that. Have the wire sticking out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very important that you leave the wire sticking out of uh, the opening here so that you can obviously connect the LED light to it. And yeah, that's essential. Okay, so something you're going to want to know is that as you see here, I've got it already kind of assembled. I put all the stuff together. Um, you're going to want to use two fingers and really push in on these sides because these sides can be very difficult to get in. And once you have it in, I mean, you're good, but it's pretty difficult at first. I mean, I don't know how yours might be cut, but you're gonna really have to put some pressure in on these things to get the result that you're looking for. Okay, so now the lyre is basically put together. I connected the power connectors, which was pretty simple to do. I've got the little power brick right here, as you guys can see. That's all done and pretty much simple. The only other thing that you will have to do is you will have to attach this piece right here, which is essentially, I don't know how well you can see it, this is the remote, which you just kind of snap on a little metal guide plate piece that you'll find on the side here. And once that's snapped on, you can kind of get exactly what you're looking for. Now, something that's really cool about the Lyra is that they kind of give you everything you need. So you have the screwdriver here, as you guys can clearly see. I didn't pay for that. That comes with the, uh, you know, with the product to help you with these tiny little screws. If you see that you have overage, don't freak out because you do have extras in case anything does happen. So again, you're, you're fine. These are just extra screws. So you didn't set it up wrong or anything like that. That's just how it works. Okay, so now we've got the Lyra fired on and as you guys can clearly see, it's pretty darn sweet. Not gonna lie, I've got all these lights kind of going off and you can kind of see, we're gonna change the color here of the light using the remote that's included with it. Okay, so we're going to go to cool light the light temperature gets cool. We can go to warm light, where it was, and we can make it brighter or dimmer. So as you guys see, it gets pretty darn bright. I like that a lot. Honestly, a lot of people might not think to use it like this, but you can actually probably use this as a video light for like a rim light in the background or something like that. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna probably try to be a little creative with it, but you have options as you guys can clearly see. I mean, it's such a really bright light and a really nice light as well. So that's just with those main modes. So now I'm going to go and show you guys some of the other stuff. Okay, so now we're going to go through some more scenes. We're gonna show you the ocean scene. We're gonna show you the forest scene. Sun glow. Ripple. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. You can't really see it on camera, but essentially it's going through a bunch of different shades of blue. I don't know if I get closer if you can see that kind of thing, but yeah, no, you can't see it. It's definitely happening though, and I think it's pretty sweet. So that's Ripple. Then we've got Rainbow. Very, very cool. I like the slow going up approach, it's pretty cool. Then we've got Meteor. This is awesome. I mean, like, this, this is sweet. Like, this could give you so many different looks, not only in a YouTube video, but just in a gaming environment or in a setup at your house or whatever. It's so cool. This is the uh, Aura. And then this is Movie Mode. 
Don't really know why they have blue for movie mode, but that's what color it is. Leisure. <laughs> Leisure looks more like a movie mode. But this is more like a cafe vibe kind of thing, so it's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Kind of like a music video light or something like that. And they got romantic. They got fireworks. That's pretty cool. It like goes up to the top and then it like just kind of like stacks and blows up. If you call that blowing up. But it's, it's pretty cool because it like trails and then stops there, so. I think that's super sweet. Alright, so then we're gonna go to Emotion where we have Breathe. Click on that. And the colors will just start pulsing and fading out and in with different colors. We've got Gradient, where they should go through the full rainbow spectrum, just blending together one after the other in a gradient, which you're going to have trouble seeing here. Then we've got, uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to find a way to show you guys the exact color intensity, so I'll lower the brightness here so you guys can maybe get an idea. Because there's a lot happening here, even with, like in Gradient and stuff like that. All these different modes, there's so much happening from a color perspective. We're now in Halloween, where they flash different colors of orange, right? For your Halloween parties, you have Christmas. I think they need to work on their Christmas one because there shouldn't be purple, there shouldn't be yellow or blue. It really should just be green and red, honestly, for Christmas. This just looks more like a just a cluster of a bunch of different colors, not necessarily Christmas theme, in my opinion. Uh, but then they've got stacking. That's pretty cool. Look at how sweet that is. That's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty cool. All right, so then we've got the greedy snake. I don't I don't really know. That it's cool though. It's a cool little theme. It's it's like a, it almost reminds me of Pac-Man kind of with like the little ghosts and stuff. So, I don't know. That's pretty cool. It would work in a gaming room for sure. You know. Got it's also got that Galaga kind of vibe, you know what I mean? It's not bad. All right, so then it's the bouncing ball. It's a bouncing ball of some sort, I guess. Okay. And then we've got strike, where they just come and intersect with each other. It's pretty cool. We've got bubble, where it's just a bunch of floating up lights, but still pretty cool. Crossing. an interesting little pattern in effect so yeah as you guys see there are tons of different options you guys can set up and choose and pick and ultimately speaking you got a lot of combinations you can choose I definitely recommend this light I think it's also one of the most underrated lights honestly because like when you think about the fact that you have DIY you have Bluetooth you have music mode you have all these features I mean you could adjust it be candlelight now you know what I mean like you you can really set it up however you want and like this is really good for like content creators. I think like they should market this as a content creator lamp because you can use this as a rim light and let me look at how bright that is. I mean that would be perfect to get that extra kick of light without really technically introducing an actual light and it takes up such little space that it's really good for that. So I don't know why they won't introduce it like that because this, trust me, is gonna absolutely help with some video content. And I mean, you even have the ability to change colors, dude. Like I'm in the app here and you can make it red, you know, like doing like music video shoots and stuff like that. And, and they'll ask you specifically what part of the segment you want to change it to. You can have the whole thing go red or you can uncheck specific parts that you don't want red and it'll brighten that stuff up. And you, you can mix and match colors essentially. And I think that's so very cool. I mean, look at that. Now I've got orange. Now I've got yellow and red. Now I've got green and red, which again, doesn't really look all that green. It looks to be a little bit of yellow in there. You have blue. Now that looks really sick when you do the blue and red. I mean, that's a really pretty light right there. You probably can't even see how pretty it is in real life though. It's super sick. And you guys get my point. Like you have tons of different combinations you can do just by breaking up the light to give you like a certain vibe. So yeah, like I think it's 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 pretty sick. So yeah, absolutely highly recommend it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next video. See you guys later.